Joining us right now at the conference is Mirat Mirkan, who is a Deputy Minister of Energy with Turkey. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. You're um, welcome. You are here trying to, I guess, give people a little bit more of a global view of what's going on with the oil industry as well, and Turkey's role in it. Yes. Tell us about that. In fact, uh, when you look at the map, where most of the oil are produced and reserves are, it's within the you know one hour distance of Turkey, like 70% of oil reserves, and oil and gas reserves are within the east neighborhood of Turkey. And in fact, most of the demand, the second largest demand is Europe. For that reason, Turkey plays a key role in uh, transporting or in transmitting uh, oil and gas from the uh, supply centers to demand centers. And in fact, Turkey eventually will will uh, will uh, use through its pipeline and through Bosphorus will have at least 10 percent of total production, daily production, going through its borders. So that makes Turkey very interesting. It's kind of a meeting pot of producers and the consumers where uh, they, they, are, they, they need to be integrated. In my op opinion, oil geopolitics is uh, very important. And in fact, rather than uh, looking into the uh, interest of different stakeholders, uh, we need to have integrative approach that integrates producers, consumers, create value for all the people. This is one of the messages I had in the conference. And my second message was, since the, the growing public awareness is very important and affecting all businesses, including oil and gas, more, uh, we need to spend more time and effort and probably capital in increasing pub public awareness and in communicating with the people who, 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 are, who are directly or indirectly being affected by, by the business. Having said this, of course, a uh, new generation uh, needs to be uh, attracted to this business as well. So we need to develop new programs, educational and training programs. So those are my three messages, as a matter of fact. You, you did mention it currently, Turkey, 5% of the world's oil production, 5.5% yes. of the entire world's production flows through Turkey. Yes. Um, here in Alberta, there is concern about a couple of major pipeline projects, and there's concern about tankers going up and down the west coast of British Columbia with the oil. How do you ensure the safety of the product going through your waters and convince your public that, that this is the right thing to do? Look, otherwise, if, 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 we, if we play the bad guy role, and if we give hell of a problem to oil and gas industry to, to to ship their, their stuff, to ship their products uh, to demand centers, then can you imagine how much oil will be and how much gas uh, price will increase on this issue? So there is, a, there, is a, there is a balance between safety. Yes, of course, we are very keen on uh, safety of our people, security of our people, health, health of our people, but at the same time, this shouldn't uh, prevent us from uh, from oil flowing into the markets because oil and gas is still a major lifeblood of economy and of humanity, and unless and, and unless is alter unless alternative is is created, I mean this is going to be so. Obviously, that's important, but protecting the environment is is very important for you as well. I mean, in my opinion, uh, being a politician and uh, having been uh, responsible, directly responsible to our constituents. Of course, environment is extremely important, but in my opinion, I don't think that uh, there is a trade-off between environment and oil and gas. You have to find the uh, right balance between the two. So we don't uh, sacrifice one at the expense. We can't sacrifice one at the expense of the other. Murat, thank you very much. Thanks. A pleasure. Have a great day. We've been chatting with Murat Mirkan, who is a Deputy Minister of Energy with Turkey.